Hey, in today's tech tip video, I'm going to show you how to find hidden NFTs that are in your wallet that you don't know about. And the only reason I'm doing this is because some of the placeholder NFTs for the node licenses are going into the hidden folder. So go over to OpenSea.io and to do this, you are actually going to need to connect your wallet. This is a DAP. This is a decentralized application. Make sure you know what you're doing when you do this and make sure you're on the correct website, OpenSea.io. So we're going to go ahead and hit connect wallet, MetaMask. And it's going to pull up our wallet and connect it. If you have multiple different wallets, uh, it's going to select which one you want, whatever one you have activated. It's going to make you sign a signature. Since I've already connected in the past, it connects easily. But when you have to connect for the very first time, you're going to have to open up your wallet and it'll sign a signature similar to when you connect for the very first time with any of the dApps. Then you can go ahead and click on hover over this little thing up here. It'll be a different color for you. Mine is blue and click profile. It takes me over to my profile page. And right now we can see some transferred items have been moved to the hidden tab, which is interesting because this uh, collection was created using OpenSea's, anyway, no big deal. So some of our stuff has been hidden. Uh, we could learn more, but we're not going to. We're gonna view the items not this way. We could easily do it this way, but I'm gonna show you how to view it at any time no matter whether this is the first time you've seen this message or not. And as you can see, no other NFTs are actually in this wallet. So let's go ahead and go ahead and click the more down arrow and hit hidden. Once we go over to the hidden folder, we're going to see there are a couple of different NFTs in here. One is not even showing it so bad. This folder is a dangerous folder to look at and touch and interact with. I will caution you beyond all reason, do not interact with any NFTs in that wallet unless you know 1000% that they are legit. You do not even need to move these like I am moving them now into my main wallet. The only reason I'm doing that is I know 100%, 100% that this is an NFT that I just dropped for this testing purpose so you could see this. But let's just say that we wanted to move this to our main wallet so we could look at it and see it. And this is only an open C, mind you. OpenSea is the only one that has this hidden tab that it automatically goes to. If you go to X2, Y2, Blur, or anything else, looks so rare, it's going to just show up in your wallet like normal, and you'll be able to look at it and see it nice and pretty like. So if we want this thing to come over to our wallet, this is in our wallet no matter what. On the blockchain, even if it's in the hidden folder, it's on our wallet. If it's in the main folder, it's on our wallet. This is our MetaMask wallet that we're looking at through OpenSea. So hopefully that is clear as well. So let's say I want to unhide this. I'm going to go click More and unhide right here. It is that simple. To do that, the very first time, I'm gonna have to sign a signature. Um, so it says click to sign in, accept the OpenSea terms of service, blah, blah, blah. This request will not trigger a blockchain transaction or cost any gas fees. This is just an authentication to be able to move that over and make any changes on your account. This is a 24 hour reset signing. So you have to do this, if you do this every day, you'll have to sign this every single day or every time you do this. So go ahead and hit sign. And then that is going to move that from my hidden folder. And then we can go back over to the collected folder, which is the main folder. And you're going to see that over here. Nice and pretty. Now we can go ahead and pull that up. Just look at it, check it out, list it, check it, do everything that we need to with this thing. And that's how we see a hidden NFT in our wallet over on OpenSea. Now, remember, this is our OpenSea wallet. This is looking at our MetaMask wallet. So we do not need to transfer this NFT from OpenSea to MetaMask or anything else. This is our MetaMask wallet that we connected to OpenSea. So OpenSea could view inside our MetaMask wallet and do things inside our MetaMask wallet and all that. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's tech tip. If you want more videos just like this one, go ahead and go to nickblacknext.com, put in your name and email, sign up for our mailing list so we can send these out to you and you'll get more information on how to navigate the blockchain. Take it easy and we'll see you in the next one.